Hope you're doing well today. Well, today I'm going to bring you another Cajun recipe, and it's called Cajun Crawfish Bread. And I am adapting this recipe from this, I was a sucker for this cookbook. It's uh, called Louisiana Back Road Restaurant. And there must be about 20 different crawfish HFA recipes in here, which this one's pretty rich. But I'm going to try to uh, alter it a little bit and make it small because Elle doesn't even eat crawfish. Can you believe that? Like, my daughter is from Louisiana. She doesn't like seafood. But anyway, that's besides the point. But it's got a few ingredients. And I didn't make my own French bread. I just bought the French bread for a dollar. And uh, I have my crawfish defrosted. I bought some on sale last year for $4.99 a pound, which is unheard of for Louisiana crawfish. Now, they have a lot from China, which are okay. But I don't re I don't remember how I got these so cheap. But I need, I need to use some of them. So I'm going to use at least half of them, and uh, if there's any leftovers, I'll bring the rest to my dad tomorrow because he invited us for, for lunch. But I hope you enjoy this recipe, and uh, you could use uh, shrimp, crab meat, probably even chicken if you wanted to. It's, uh, it's uh, very versatile. But I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope you enjoy the recipe, and thanks for joining me, and uh, let's get Okay, to I have my oven preheated to 375, uh, regular bake. And I'm, I'm only going to, uh, I changed my mind, I'm only going to do, I'm going to save half of this crawfish and see if I can make a little gravy with it. I'm only going to do this piece of bread. And what you do is, you take a piece of French bread, can you see that? I'm sorry. And you rub a little mayonnaise on it. Like I said, it's very rich. So we have that ready. I have a little bit of onion. It doesn't say celery, but I'm going to add a little celery. I have a garlic, uh, green onions. Cream cheese, pepper jack cheese, and I'm gonna add a little cold jack cheese and a little parmesan cheese. And I probably have extra cheese, but that's okay. I can use that in another application for sure. So I'm gonna just let this heat up. And uh, in, it says to add a uh, teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. I'm gonna add this. This is my, uh, it's actually a crab boil seasoning. And I'm gonna add probably just about a half teaspoon I wanted to have that little bit of crab boil flavor. It just adds more flavor to your seafood. So let me heat this up and I'll take some of the butter. You can cut it back if you want. I, I didn't cut it back before I realized I was gonna cut the whole recipe back, but I have some onion and celery just mixed in here. I'm gonna add a little extra of this because, like I said, I might make a little gravy with the rest of the uh, crawfish tails because I can't eat all that bread on myself. So let's just dump it all in. You know, I always do that, just dump it all in. So we're gonna salt it, salt it in. And I already have my cheese grated and everything's ready. We just gotta wait for it to heat up. And it doesn't take long to bake at all. So let me get this going. Oh, my stove turned down and I'll be back. We're gonna add just a little bit of garlic. You can add as much as you like. I'm just gonna add it a little bit. I'm saving the rest for another recipe. And I almost burnt the onions, but that's okay. It'll taste better. I'll cook this for a couple of minutes and let's see. Now we're gonna add our crawfish. I'm just gonna add them all in here. And I'll even rinse them. I like the flavor sometimes. And the green onions, we could put as much as you like. I like a lot of green onions. I'm gonna cook these for a couple of minutes. They're really already cooked, the crawfish. And then we're gonna heat this up for a couple of minutes. Let's add a little bit of seasoning. We don't wanna to put too much, because this is pretty strong. So I'm just gonna take about that, that much. Because that's probably all we need. And uh, let me heat this up for a few minutes, and then we'll add some cream oh, cheese. Really good. I had a, I forgot to add the parsley, but that's okay. I'm gonna take uh, a little bit of this out because I'm not gonna use this off of this bread recipe. The crawfish are really sweet. I tasted them, and, and uh, it goes a long way. You know. You don't need a lot, lot for flavor. I'm gonna save just a little bit. 
in case I want to try another recipe with these. So I'm going to cook these and now we're going to add a little bit of cream cheese but not a lot. You know you don't have to make it as rich as the recipe calls for. So let's just add, just you know just play it by ear, just what you like. Let me see, I took my glasses off. Now it calls for, I can't even see, a whole eight ounce package of cream cheese but I'm not going to use that much. I'm going to use just a little bit probably about four ounces because I'm not going to be making the whole recipe. Let me turn my fire down a little bit. You could, I was thinking about adding a little stock to this. My cream cheese is pretty softened. This is my first time trying this, so I'm going to tell you if I don't like it. I've been having trouble eating rich foods lately, so I don't want to say it's not good if it is good, and it's just me. <laughs> but my favorite way to eat crawfish are boiled, honestly. So I'm going to turn the fire off now, because this is melted. And uh, I'll be back with the I'm next Spread the crawfish mixture on top. And we're going to put a little smoked paprika on top. Actually, let's put the cheese first, then we'll put the... Uh, this is pepper jack cheese. I'm just gonna use uh, pepper jack, I think, and Parmesan. And like I said, you know, you put as much as you like. And I'm gonna bake it for just a minute, and then I'm gonna, I might put it under the broiler, we'll see. And this is another thing you can do to taste. If you like a lot of cheese, put a lot of cheese. My cheese is kinda warm because it's so hot when I turn the oven on in here. It's still in the 90s here. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. That's thunder and lightning. It's really storming outside. Okay, let's put a little, this is, uh, I think this is Parmigiano Reggiano. And I grated a little extra because I might make some spaghetti. Let's just sprinkle a little bit of that on top. Oh, and I'm gonna have to put parsley for looks. That's gonna be so salty and good. And you know, if you wanted to cut back on the bread, you could totally like cut it in half again. Let's put just a little bit of this. And I have some Colby Jack here, but I don't think I'm gonna use that. I think that's plenty of cheese. Well, let's find the parsley. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I guess I'm not. I'm just going to put just a little bit of porcelain on the top. And I think I'm going to put it in the oven for about 10 minutes and then I'm going to, I might put it under the broiler. But I'll be back and show you what it looks like. I just took it out of the oven. Isn't that uh, pretty and cheesy? I'm going to let it cool off a little bit and then somebody's going to taste Guys, it. Guys, here's what's left of the crawfish bread. Now, I'm not going to taste this on camera, but... Ella's best friend tasted this, and she cannot stop eating it. She loves it. Uh, it's not my favorite thing. I prefer boiled crawfish. I said that in the past, but um, they're it's really good. It and is. It's amazing. And see, she loves it. And I hope you enjoy the video, and hope you try the recipe. And uh, thank you for watching. And please come back for my next video, which is gonna be something i haven't figured it out yet but I'll, I'll let you know next time you see me bye oh, oh sorry <laughs>